Oh, where do I start? I Emil, mean, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You came in very silent but violent. I didn't even know you was coming to Ghana. Okay, yeah, I came for a wedding, but I had to come look at my land as well. Well, that's standard. Right, so. But the way you dropped it, when did you book the wedding? Uh, Months ago. Yeah. When did you tell me you was coming? Last week. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Yeah. I love it though. Uh, Emil <laughs> is one of the family. He is a landowner here in Ghana. He owns property here. He owns it on the Covenant, which is Community 4, which is, a, in my opinion, a pretty nice piece of land. But Emil, vindication today? No, definitely. You can't really get the scope of it until you see it in the flesh. And you literally stand on a piece of Africa that you own. Yeah. A piece of Ghana, a piece of the motherland that you actually own. And then it's, in your, it's going to be in your family for generations and generations, unless you decide to sell it, of course. But if you're an actual landowner, you have something. It's amazing. I think you hit the nail on the head. You know, we talk about ownership here, and there'll be some clever clogs in the comments like, you can't own land in Ghana, you yeah. lose it. Yeah. I think all, all philosophies are correct. What we say is that Emil has been chosen to be a steward of that piece of land. You know, he used money to buy it. He will use money to develop it. But really, it's the land that's called a mill to say a mill. We want you and your bloodlines to be a steward of this section. And you got very, very lucky. Yes. Timing is a beautiful thing in land. Mm. Uh, tell us about Omain and what you found today. Was it as big as you thought it would be? Is no, it bigger? it's much bigger. It's much bigger. And then when you stand, you see the scope and the breadth. Uh, it's not just land, it's not just property, it's a community. It's and then knowing the people that you've met with, we talk in our WhatsApp groups, you get an idea of what everyone's got. And it's like everyone has this singular purpose of just better. They just want better. They want better for their children, they want better for themselves, they want better for their health, they want better for the world. Everybody just wants better and they want this to be the place where better happens. So it's like a positive vibe. Definitely. Uh, you're a very connected person, yeah. in my view. Yeah. You, know, you know a lot of people. Yes. A lot of people know you and you know a lot of people on the mind. How is yes. it like being able to, when we, wherever we went, I was able to say to you, this is so-and-so's, this you, is so-and-so's. Is that, is that pretty cool knowing that a lot yeah, of your no, buddies? It's, it's community. Yes. You, you can't get better than community. Imagine being able to choose your nice neighbours, even before they're your neighbours. Yes. Like, well, your neighbours have your back. Don't even know you, some in the group, but you've all got a common purpose, you've all got a common goal. It's, it it's amazing. And even from a kind of settlement point of view, like we've come from England, we've come from America, we've come from all over, but everyone knows each other and everyone's all very comfortable with each other. And you can't ask for better than that. So, you came to Jamaican. Yes. Proudly. Yes. Uh, in the motherland or in Ghana for the first time. Yes. Uh, you're six days in now. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, your first Friday night was pretty big. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Wedding on a Saturday. Yeah. Um, how has Ghana been for you? You know, there's been a lot of hype. About Do you know what Ghana. it is? There's a lot of hype, but I'll tell you what there is. Any Caribbean person that comes here, there's such a sense of familiarity. Good. There is so much in common between Jamaica and Ghana. So much. A lot of Jamaicans live here. A lot yes. of them made their own because it's just a really easy, straightforward transition. Fantastic. Do you know what I mean? It's... Um, the flora, the fauna, the, the structures, everything is very, very, very similar. very similar. So if you can navigate around one, you can navigate around the other. Fantastic. So. How have you found the weather here compared to Jamaica? I don't know what it is. It, they said it was going to rain, so I bought a raincoat. And I bought, <laughs> it's not rain. You Actually, made that cardinal scenario. <laughs> yeah, and then because it said rain, it said yes. rain a week, and I got yes. here and it just said no rain. Yeah. And the weather's been amazing. It's been really, really hot. And we need that. I live in England, innit? So it's just bare vitamin D replenishment. You need it. You need so you it. need it. So I'm not going to be like, don't get me wrong, it's hot as hell. But it's like where we are now, the breeze is amazing. It's a different type of heat. It's a rejuvenating heat. So beautiful, beautiful. You just, yeah, you can't, you can't mess with that. And, and even as a big man, you know, you can look after yourself, your yeah. safety in Ghana, where yeah. you've been moving in the evenings, well, you felt secure and safe. Yeah, it's, it's like anywhere really. Like, I think growing up in South London, you get to have a third eye of vision of what's going on. Yeah. But I've not felt that here. I've not felt unsafe everywhere. And I'm with female passengers, solo people coming out, and everyone just feels safe. Beautiful. Yeah. So um, you've gone over and above with your land. You know, we always say to people, you've got to take possession yeah. of your land. You came in hard and fast, quad, bang, 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 I want mm. this, boom, boom, boom. You started dealing with the land and then yeah. you came again, second times, quads, I want a fence within yeah. like two days, you sort yourself out yeah. and we have started. Do you think you've made a good move? Coming to see your land with a fence wall around it today, yeah, that definitely. give you a better perspective of you what get, you're dealing with? Yeah, definitely. You get an idea of the actual scope and brevity. And when I went there with, um, Franklin, Franklin, 
Richie. Richie. Yes. Sorry. It's all right. When I went with Richie and we were like, this can go here, this gonna you can actually see it. You're actually building your like you can see where the living room is, you can see where the bedrooms are going. Yes. You can see the scope for this and that. Because I'm gonna go back with another headache now. I've now got to go on Pinterest and look up sexy houses in Africa <laughs> to get inspiration <laughs> of what I wanna do. Yeah. So I'm just gonna be like Ugh. More things to look at. Well, we've, but got, it's... we've got, you know, we have a team of people that can help you yeah. with that. We have a fear dam, so Emma, we can supply with a document. It will ask you all your requirements. You mm. still have to go away and do that mood board if yeah. you require. But in terms of getting those juices flowing to say, Emil, if this is what you want to design and build. This is yeah. what it might look like. This is what it might cost. Yeah. That surface is there for you as well. So all I would say is thank you so much. No, thank you. Yeah, for believing in yourself. No, thank you for giving me the opportunity because I'll, I'll tell you what it is as well, very quickly for a hijacker's interview. No. The okay. fact that you've packaged everything, because remember, you didn't sell me anything. No, I didn't I came sell to that. you and yes. I said, bruv, what can you do for me? Yes. And you're like, I've got this. And I'm like, yeah, cool. And you're like, yeah, but think about it. And I was like, it's fine. So I thought about it because not only did people I trust invest in, but you laid out the whole process transparently yeah. and it was clear. And you're like, you know what, bruv, this is going to be a bit painful. This bit isn't. This is how we deal with things. It's not great, but this is it. Yes. But this is going to be really easy. Yes. And you've got to go. And you, there was no, you didn't like try and trick anyone or cajole anyone. Or For instance, when I landed, the yes. first phone come up to me, I went for my bag. They're yes. like, do you want to buy real estate? Yes. And I'm like, can, can, can I get my luggage yes. first? Yes. Like yes. literally, they've got an estate agent yes. in the airport. Yes. And you're like, calm down. Yes. But because I didn't get sold to, because you just answered my queries. Yes. I dream up like, oh, crap. Can you do this? Can you do that? And you're like, yeah, yeah you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, no problem. Yes. Forget that. Do this, do that. It's <laughs> stuff like that. And it just made the whole process easier. Yeah. And then you have to remember that the fact that you sold the kind of human aspect of it. You get have the gatherings, you have the get togethers, you have yeah. the beach days out. Yes. You get people in England together, you get people in America together. People are not afraid to share ideas that yes. will help the community. Yes. And that is way above and beyond trying to sell land. See what I mean? Yeah, Emil, you can't sell land. That's yeah. where people make the mistake. I saw a video the other day and they asked this land seller yeah uh, who's his target market and he said anybody with money yeah and i found that really sad yeah. nobody will uh i will not sell land to anybody you just can't yeah you know it belongs to god and like i said at the start of this talk god decided that you would be a steward of it and before you i would be a steward of it yeah. we've just got the calling me and my team have got the calling to go and take possession of huge swathes of land yeah. using money and put it on a plate yeah for good hard-working brothers like you who love themselves and love their motherland. Yeah. So I think all the honour will belong to you in the thank end. Thank you, bro. And thank you for the opportunity. No, thank you. Yeah, God bless you. Cheers, Emil. Thank you. Cheers guys. South Cheers. London. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Cheers.